You think we hired this boat for nothing? I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What should I tell Roderick? Tell him what I do. I do for our house. Daenerys will eventually return to Westeros. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. There's nothing I can say to make you change your mind. I've made my decision. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Lady Marjorie sent me. Did she? With wine from Cersei's cellar. How generous of her. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. 
I'm ready whenever you are. I doubt we'd get very far. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. She left me no choice. She never does. Least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Mm. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. I'm the one using her. <laughs> if that's what you think, then you're more foolish than I thought. She's taking care of a problem for me. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> What should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. She'll never believe that. Then come up with something better. Tell her I intend to call Sansa, uh, Varys, Jamie. Give her a list of names and be done with it. But enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened... What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh... We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realize you two were... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. 
I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Get the guards. Oh, oh. my lord, <laughs> you scared me after. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. You betrayed us, Duncan. After everything my family's done for you. What I did, I did for your own good. For House Forrester. We trusted you, Duncan. My father took you off a pig farm to make you his castellan. I've cared for his family like it's my own. Then why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger Royland as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you got home. Refusing to kiss Lud's ring, even though you knew he'd retaliate. Flagrantly defying Griff and leaving Ortengrin to pay the price. Taking Royland to High Point when the day called for diplomacy. And now... Getting Arthur killed! Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. You're not family. You're not blood. How can you say that? I've known you since you took your first breath. If that's not family... I don't know what is. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. You're a traitor, Duncan. Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was right. Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Roderick, you promised. Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. (laughs) 
Oh. It was the right thing. What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Smell that. We're almost there, Beska. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. I'm just another sword. No different than any of you. Roderick is the rightful lord. Trust me, everyone will love him. They'll want to fight for him. Hey, if he's anything like you, well, we'll see. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or, could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher, thank the gods you've made it back. I brought you an army, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. What? since I killed any White Hills. Holding it. 
One of us has to stay! Go, Roderick, I know what I'm doing. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Go! You bastard! Basker. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I came here for you! We're supposed to fight together, always! Sister. You're my family. As much as Roderick, as much as any of them. You asshole. Rip their fucking hearts out! C'est ce qui m'a fait au cinquième épisode, donc très bientôt je vais faire le sixième épisode. J'ai très hâte, j'espère que vous avez aimé. Si oui, cliquez sur j'aime et on se retrouve très bientôt.